Finally, a free AI model that lets you turn video into anime or pretty much any style you can imagine while maintaining consistency and following the structure of your original subject. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it using the one video model and Comfy UI. I'll walk you through everything step by step and show you how to get some seriously impressive results better than anything I've tried before. To make it easier for you to get started, I've put a complete free guide on my Patreon page, which I will link below. First, if you're new to Comfy UI, you will need to install it on your computer. I've linked a step-by-step -step tutorial in the guide that shows you how to do it. Next, you will need to download a few models. First, the Vase one model from this page. Save it inside this folder with this file name. Second, the VAE model from this page. Save it in this folder. Next, download the text encoder file from this page and save it in this folder. And finally, download the attached workflow. I want to give a shout out to Kijai, who's really a legend in the Comfy UI community. He creates amazing workflows. I'll link his one video wrapper page on GitHub down below. In the example workflows folder, you will find several one workflows that he created. The one I've attached on my guide is a simplified version of this vase workflow. Now that you've downloaded all the files, go ahead and launch Comfy UI. If you've used it before, go to manage and click update all to get the latest version. Find the workflow you downloaded and drag it into Comfy UI. You will see a window showing you several missing nodes that the workflow needs. To fix this, go to manager, click install missing custom nodes and install the latest version of every node from the list. After that, restart Comfy UI. While this workflow might look overwhelming at first, don't worry, we will keep it simple and easy to follow. And now let's get to the fun part. Click here to load the video you want to transform. The frame load cap setting lets you choose how many frames to process. Setting it to zero will process the entire video, but keep in mind that more frames require more time and resources to process. Now the one video model works best at 81 frames, which is roughly three seconds. And I know that's too short, you can actually increase the frames. I managed to generate 300 frames and more, but the quality tends to degrade and you start shifting away from the style. There are ways to fix that. Today, I want to keep things quick and simple. I will be making a separate video on Patreon where I dive deeper into other settings and share more tips, including how to get longer videos. So join my Patreon to access exclusive tutorials and other AI workflows. You will also get priority support on Discord where I personally help with workflows related questions. You can use this setting to skip a certain number of frames, which makes it easier to select a specific portion of your video to process. Set the format to one. Below that, you will find the load image reference node. Here, you need to upload the reference image to guide the AI toward the visual style you want to achieve. For best results, instead of uploading a random image from the internet, you can take a single frame from your actual footage, stylize it, and then use that as a reference. I have my video open in Premiere Pro. I will find a frame where the subject is clearly visible and then click here to export it. Now I will show you two ways to transform this image into anime or any other style. The first method uses ChatGPT. Simply import the image into the chat box and type turn this image into followed by your desired style, for example, anime style and hit enter. Let ChatGPT work its magic and in about a minute you will get an anime version of your image. This works pretty much with any style you can imagine. The subject's overall structure did change, but that's not a problem. What annoys me here is that ChatGPT tends to ignore the original aspect ratio. For some reason, it turned it into a vertical image. And to fix this, I took the image into Photoshop, changed the canvas size to match my original 16 by 9 ratio, I recentered the image and used generative fill to extend it on both sides and that solved the problem. After creating the stylized image in ChatGPT, you can also ask it to write a prompt for this image which you can later use to generate the stylized video. Another website I like to use to create reference images is openart.ai. Go to create image, Click here to choose a model. I prefer Flux Dev for most projects. Open the image to image option and upload the original frame. In this box, write your own prompt or paste the one from ChatGPT. Choose how many images you want to generate and then click create. 
I like open art style because it really looks much more like anime to me. You can even increase the creativity level if you want to push the image towards the style even more. You can switch to an SDXL model like Dream Shaper for example. This allows you to use advanced control net to preserve the structure of the subject. Simply upload the same original frame you exported from your video and select a control net mode. Usually I go with scribble then click create. While the image might not look as much like any Anime. Notice how well it preserves the clothing and hairstyle. Though the background might change, the subject remains close to the original. And just like in ChatGPT, you can use different prompts to transform your subjects completely. And no, this video is not sponsored by OpenArt. There are many useful AI features here, and I've covered several of these in a previous video. If you decide to subscribe, you can use my code MDMZ20 for 20% off any monthly subscription. Now let's return to Comfy UI. Let's upload the reference image and continue with the settings. Here you can set the resolution of your output. Make sure you keep the same aspect ratio as the original video. Mine is 16 by 9 and I found that 1024 by 576 generates fairly fast. You can go with a lower resolution such as 768 by 432. The output quality won't be great but I will show you later how I improve the quality after generating. Just remember that going with a high resolution will require more GPU VRAM. You can experiment to see what works best, but if you're trying to process a long video, I recommend keeping the resolution low. In this node, set the same resolution as earlier. In my case, that's 1024 by 576. For the video combined node, set the frame rate to match your original video. In my case, that's 25 frames per second. Next, in the prompt box, you can type something as simple as anime style or paste the prompt you created with ChatGPT. Just make sure you review it carefully and see if there are any changes you want to make. On the one video sampler, you can increase the steps to get more details in your video, but this will require more VRAM. The CFG value controls how closely the video should follow your prompt. I usually experiment between 2 and 8, set the seed control to randomize. You can also try different schedulers, and I've been getting good results with Euler. Moving on to the final node, video combine. Make sure to match the frame rate to your original video. Here you can set the default file name prefix for all outputs. I'll set mine to 1v2v. And that's it. Now that we've adjusted everything correctly, we can finally click run to start generating our stylized video. You will see the process moving through the nodes one by one. The one video sampler node takes the longest since that's where your video is being generated. The good news here is that it's only using 15 gigabytes of my video memory. You can reduce the memory usage even further by lowering settings like steps and video resolution. Once the process is complete, you will be able to preview the video directly in Comfy UI. And here's what I got. This honestly blew me away the first time I saw it. The hair motion, the blinking, everything just works. This shows how far AI video has come. As you can see, it took about seven minutes to process this video. Also, quick thing, if you're enjoying this video and haven't subscribed yet, please hit that button. As you've seen in the intro, you can achieve pretty much any style you can imagine. But what about videos with more complex motion? I've tested that and to my surprise, it handled that quite well. To find the generator video file, go to your Comfy UI folder and open the output folder. There you will find all the generated videos. Now let me show you how I improve the quality of a low resolution video. For that I use Topaz Video AI. You can simply drag and drop your video here and click start editing. It sounds ambitious but I want to upscale the video to 4k. There are many settings you can adjust here. I just want to show you the end result here but if you'd like me to make another video where I dive deeper into Topaz Video AI settings let me know in the comments below. When you use the right settings you can get incredible detail in your video even when upscaling by five times the original size. If you've learned something new in today's video make sure to give it a like like and don't forget to share your stylized videos with me on discord or instagram stay creative and i'll catch you in the next video peace